of recordings going on, and this kind of blue light, you know, especially recording and things, it makes noise. Okay, so please just turn it off. Enjoy an hour with a hands-free, you know, to bonuses, please. Um, and also no flash photography, please, because the flash is very bothering to the uh, instrumentalists and singers. So, a uh, couple of things there, and then fire exits down here and in your back, in the back, in case, you know, Dr. Coleman Bassett comes out and lights the whole thing up. You know, we can run. <laughs> so, but I think that's all I have to say. Welcome, welcome. And uh, let's welcome Dr. Pullman Bassett to the stage.
the work you just heard was Elliot Del Borgo's Chant Rituals. Del Borgo was a well-known composer of 20th century band orchestral literature. An award-winning member of the American Society of Composers, Authors, and Publishers, during his lifetime, Del Borgo had the honor of composing music for the 1980 Olympics. Using his 20th century style of composing, Del Borgo wrote Chant Rituals in 1993. The name Chant Rituals gives the qualities of Gregorian chant and Del Borgo's unique style of composing. Thick percussion writing, extensive chromaticism passed between melodic voices, and the use of strong and rich brass choir statements. Additionally, throughout this piece you heard the different modulations of sections that give off an eerie feeling. We hope that you enjoyed Del Borgo's Chant Rituals, and we are excited to share our next work with you.
Dmitry Shostakovich was a Russian composer and pianist, and is known as one of the major composers of the 20th century. Shostakovich has composed 15 symphonies, as well as many chamber works and concertos. Most of Shostakovich's works were composed under Stalin's Russian government, where they had strict government-imposed standards of Soviet art. Dmitry Shostakovich composed Fire of Eternal Glory in 1960, and Dr. Timothy Ray, Director of Bands and Music Activities at Texas A&M University, arranged this version for band in 1995. The work was originally composed for the World War II Memorial in the city of Novorossiysk. This composition has played every hour on the hour since opening at the memorial in 1960. In 1975, the same piece was added to the tomb of the unknown soldier at the Alexandrovsky Garden near the Kremlin Wall. The tomb of the unknown soldier contains an eternal fire, fire of glory burning in the middle of a bronze star. Included with the tomb, there is a red granite slab with the following words inscribed into it. Your name is unknown, your feet is immortal. Fire of Eternal Glory opens with a delicate mallet percussion feature meant to mimic the sound of church bells, followed by a saxophone solo accompanied by woodwinds and tuba. Fire of Eternal Glory is a very touching chorale full of incredibly heartfelt and reflective musical moments. Members of the University Contraband and I hope you enjoy the Fire of Eternal Glory.
do a little bit of a scene change uh, before we bring up the West Liberty University singers. So if you would like to take about five minutes, stretch, go outside, get some fresh air, um, and we'd love to see you all back here in five minutes for the West Liberty University singers. Thank you.
In 1922, the Reverend Bates G. Burt, a self-taught musician, began a family tradition of writing an original Christmas carol each year and sending it as a holiday greeting to family and friends. This tradition was passed on to his son, Alfred Burt, a young composer and jazz trumpeter in 1942, and then to his great-granddaughter, Abby Burt Bettinas, in 2001. Tonight, the West Liberty University singers are pleased to share the Christmas carol Bettinas composed and shared with family and friends in 2012, titled The Mirthful Heart. Abby Patinas dedicated this carol to the memory of her grandmother, godmother, and great aunt, who she says, as a trio of strong women, carried each in her own way a mysteriously powerful and personal inner joy. Just 
one or two or three individuals. It takes a village to make all of this happen. And we're very fortunate here at West Liberty to have a wonderful group of colleagues that make up a wonderful village to help our students thrive and, and reach their greatest potential. And it's very exciting to be a part of that team. So I would like to take a moment really quickly to thank all of the um, music faculty, all of our administration here at West Liberty University. Um, we, like I said, we're a great team. We all really like each other, like seriously. Um, and we play in the same sandbox, sandbox very well, so we all passed kindergarten with flying colors. Um, but it is, it's truly a joy to um, just be able to, to work every day with, with such wonderful people and to collaborate on things. I remind the students um, many times that it is a rarity to have faculty that want to participate in, in ensembles, such as Dr. Greco did, and you're about to hear Dr. Linda Cowan uh, sing with us. It is a rarity, and so um, we embrace those moments, and we're very thankful, and we're very blessed. To, so to our faculty and our administration around campus, we say thank you so very much. We also have many people that um, support the program throughout the year um, in many different ways. Um, all of our donors, whether it's donating a meal um, at a home football game for the marching band or um, you are our, a marching band title donor like Alco Fence Company or you know you you make a donation at a concert you know five ten twenty dollars all of that goes directly to the students and we thank you so much for your support because that helps us serve these students and give them the best opportunities possible. So thank you to all of our donors. Thank you all for being here this evening. Uh, family, thank you for trusting us with your students. Um, it's, that's not always an easy thing when they, they go away to college. Um, so we, we take that trust very, very seriously. We take the charge of keeping your students safe and providing them the best education possible very seriously. So thank you so much for trusting us with that. And finally, I want to thank uh, Ms. Teresa Gretchen from Topper Station, who is here tonight. Um, Topper Station and Teresa specifically, they are wonderful, uh, wonderful to work with. She's, um, over the last year and a half, she's been working with us closely to record quite a few of our events and, and help us get out there uh, for people that can't always be with us in person. So we want to thank Teresa very much and all the work that she does at Topper Station. This setting of the traditional Christmas carol, Silent Night, is part of composer and arranger Jackson Berkeley's anniversary carol set. It is a set of new arrangements and harmonizations of well-known Advent and Christmas carols. As we conclude our fall ensembles concert, the students and faculty of the West Liberty University Division of Music want to thank you once again for joining us this evening it is our most sincere hope that the music shared with you tonight has lifted your hearts and brightens your spirit for the beautiful holiday season that awaits you, your family, and all of us. Thank you again for joining us this evening.
district without Dr. Pullman Bassett and Ms. Deborah Brighting and of course Dr. Greco and Dr. Cowan. So we came together and got you some flowers and some uh, letters.